Hello, Christopher Brent here coming to you today with a musical podcast on the subject of chamber music. So maybe you are a classical music aficionado, maybe you are new to classical music and you've seen this term or you've heard this term chamber music and you're not really sure what it's all about. So today I'm going to answer that question and talk about it a little bit. So let's get down to business. I am a piano teacher, a music educator, and a pianist from Michigan here in the United States. And I have performed chamber music as a pianist. um, And I'm going to talk about that. So what is chamber music, right? It's basically music for a small ensemble. That's kind of the simple way to put it. So it's usually performed in an intimate setting, although it can be performed in a large concert hall, but it's usually going to be performed in an intimate setting, sometimes really with even the space of someone's living room. Um, So the key is with chamber music is you're going to have one player for each part. So instead of having a large string section where you have multiple string players playing the parts, in chamber music you only have one instrumentalist playing each part. So if you have a string quartet, this is probably the most common type of chamber music, um, the string quartet will only have four players, one instrumentalist to each part. So in a string quartet you will have two violins, a viola, and a cello. That's going to be the most common instrumentation situation that you will see in a string quartet. So Uh, The string quartet was highly developed by Haydn in the classical period, and of course Beethoven wrote string quartets, and the Beethoven string quartets have an incredible amount of depth to them. So if you're looking for depth in music, turn to the string quartets of Beethoven. That's a great place to go. So um, you have other variations, right? You can have a trio. That would be three musicians. Uh, A quartet would be four. A quintet would be five musicians. A sextet would be six musicians, and so on. Um, I've even seen a septet and an octet, and you'll have this kind of thing, right? So we're dealing with a small ensemble, and this can be a great place to go musically, right? Both as a composer and a listener, as well as a performer, right? And it's a unique situation. You get to work with musicians as a performer in an intimate way where you have to communicate and have this conversation in a way that's a little bit different if you were um, compared to playing in an orchestra. So that's what's really neat about it. Um, There's been a lot of wonderful piano trios and piano quartets written by many of the great composers. Look through the catalog. There's so many of them out there. Um, So hopefully this just gives you some insight on what chamber music really is. Um, It's kind of its own little world in a certain way. There's several festivals and societies that have been created around the world that dedicate themselves to chamber music. So you can go to a festival basically where you're going to see a whole schedule of quartets and quintets and brass ensembles that are um, small uh, in number. Uh, You'll see piano quartets, piano quintets, and and all of these wonderful performances going on over many days. So there's these chamber music festivals, which are a lot of fun, and you can hear so much great music, and you can hear these great musicians in an intimate setting, and that's really neat. Um, Some of the great string quartets that I'm thinking of off the top of my head would be um, the Emerson String Quartet, Uh, The Kronos Quartet is another great group. Also, the Juilliard String Quartet is very good, and there are so many others. Um, So look up uh, chamber music uh, when you are searching for a composer, because just about all of the great composers through the classical, romantic, and in the 20th century um, wrote chamber music in, in some form, whether it would be piano trios, piano quartets, or string quartets, or whatever it might be. So, um get into it. I love chamber music. It's really neat in a, in a very special, unique way. So check it out. Um, if you have any questions about chamber music or anything else related to music, um, uh, give me an email. Uh, send me an email. Um, my email address is chrisbrentmusic at gmail.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at www.christopherbrent.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.